Hello viewers, welcome to another session of my pharmacology series. Today I'll be talking of the antidepressant drugs. So while talking of antidepressant drugs, uh, we can broadly categorize and classify the drugs into two categories. One, those are given in severe depression and the other which are given in mild to moderate depression. So there are two broad categories of drugs. The first drug are the tricyclic antidepressants and the second category are the selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors which are very commonly called as the SSRIs. So the tricyclic antidepressants they are given in severe depression. So they are the drug of choice in severe depression because of their high efficacy. So our in severe depression our motto is to relieve the symptoms so they are the drug of choice in severe depression just because they have a very high efficacy. The next category that is the selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors. They are the drug of choice in mild to moderate depression. And they are chosen just because of their low side effects. That is because of their safety we are using them. So on a broad cat basis if we say the tricyclic antidepressants, they are given in severe depression, whereas the selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, they are given in mild to moderate depression. So when talking of now, just a quick re, uh, review as to um, what are the adverse effects of this tricyclic antidepressants and the selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors. The side effects of the tricyclic antidepressants the, can be better remembered if we just look at the initials of the letters tricyclic antidepressants that is the T, C and A. So the side effects can be better remembered if we just look at the initials of the letter T, C and A that is the tricyclic antidepressants. The T, C, A is the mnemonic in order to remember the side effects what the tricyclic antidepressants elicit in the human body. So when looking at the first T of the tricyclic, the T corresponds to the tremors, the C of the uh, corresponds to the cardiovascular side effects are there, which are particularly manifested in the form of arrhythmias, especially in ischemic heart diseases and in the form of postural hypotension. Hypotension, I'm sorry. In the cases of postural hypotension. The last A of the, of the tricyclic antidepressant, the A corresponds to the anticholinergic side effects which can be manifested in the form of dry mouth, dysphagia, constipation, urinary retention and palpitations. So the S, the tricyclic antidepressant, the mnemonic was TCAS that is the tricyclic antidepressants. The S corresponds to another side effect can be looked upon as the in the form of sedation and seizures. So the mnemonic I have categorized, summarized in the form of T, C, A and S. The T corresponds to the tremors, the C corresponds to the cardiovascular side effects, the A corresponds to the anticholinergic side effects and the S corresponds to the sedation and seizures. Now, just a quick review as to what are the adverse effects or the side effects which the selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors cause. So the mnemonic, again I have made a mnemonic over here. We can better remember the, and the, the adverse effect of the selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors just by remembering the mnemonic, the SSRI, where every alphabet that is selective, S of the selective, S of the serotonin, R for the reuptake um, re and I for the inhibitors will correspond to one of the adverse effects. Now the first S corresponds to the serotonin syndrome and uh, at this serotonin syndrome I'll be discussing a few minutes uh, after it. The next S corresponds that they, the selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, the second S corresponds to the, they cause, they stimulate the CNS, alright. They cause stimulation of the CNS. The R corresponds, they can lead to, they can manifest in the form of reproductive dysfunctions in male. And the I corresponds to the insomnia. 
So again, the adverse effects of the selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors can be the adverse effects can be better remembered if we just remember the uh, the initials of the letters that is the selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors that is SSRI where every alphabet SSRI will correspond to one of the adverse effects. The first S that is the select uh, that is the serotonin syndrome. The second S will correspond that it, st it stimulates the CNS. The third S corresponds to the reproductive dysfunction in male and the last I will correspond to insomnia. Now, when, uh, just, now just now I have the first S is corresponding to the uh, serotonin syndrome. So let me tell you guys as to what is the serotonin syndrome. The serotonin syndrome is a very dangerous and a fatal situation. It is just like the neuroleptic malignant syndrome which can be seen in the antipsychotic patients and it results from the interaction between the serotonin enha enhancing drugs example the SSRIs the monoamine oxidase inhibitors and the tricyclic antidepressants etc so the serotonin syndrome act actually what is the serotonin syndrome so the serotonin syndrome is actually a tetrad of four things all right since a serotonin syndrome is causing an adverse effect it is harming the body so the mnemonic as to what is the serotonin syndrome i have the mnemonic what i have made is harm if we just remember the term h a r m initials of harm we can look as to what is actually the serotonin syndrome and how is it characterized so the serotonin syndrome is characterized by the H of the harm corresponds to hyperthermia. It means the patients of the serotonin syndrome, they are be going, they'll, they'll be having elevated body temperatures. The A corresponds to the autonomic instability. That is, the patient can experience a little bit of delirium. The R corresponds to the rigidity. And the M corresponds to the myoclonus. So viewers, this was my mnemonic and my discussion about the antidepressant drugs viewers if you do like my video don't forget to subscribe my channel and do press the bell icon so that you can be further updated about my newer videos thank you for watching